Hello fellow fragrance fans. In this video I want to tell you about the first and second impressions of some perfumes that I tried when I was in Berlin this week. I was in Berlin for four days this week with college. We went on an excursion to visit the Innotrans, which is a huge infrastructure and public transportation expo. On the side of that, I also had ample time to explore Berlin and I had set my sights on the KDW, which is a huge department store in the center of Berlin. This abbreviation KDW stands for Kaufhaus des Westens, which translates to department store of the West pretty much. And it is an extremely large department store. They have pretty much everything you would expect from a department store and they also have um, boutiques of luxury labels and designers. Therefore you find everything from the inexpensive to the luxury. The same is true for the fragrance section or perfume section they have. It is, it is large to start with but they also have um, boutiques for like Louis Vuitton where they have their exclusive lines. So there is a lot to explore. To keep this video short I only want to share with you the fragrances I tested on my skin. And I want to start with a label called the Fragrance Kitchen, of which I tested three different scents. The first one was Midnight. It is a oud, amber and rose combination. It does smell intriguing and nice on a paper strip, but there it already hints at um, some sort of stingy and unappealing note or a chord that was worse on my skin. The performance is great, but apart from the pleasant side of the fragrance, it also has an unpleasant side that I just couldn't tolerate for too long. So this one fell short. The next one had the same problem. It is called Velvet Aura and it is an amber oud with spices. It also has a nice part, but the same sharpness and unappealing stinginess was present in this one. The third one actually was damn impressive. It is called Blue Eyes and the thing I smelled the most was an overdose of clove and spicy incense. So this is something I naturally like and something that appealed to me. I tried it on skin and the performance and the projection longevity all were insane, just brutal. The reason why I haven't picked it up was that it was rather monothematic. It didn't have a nice development to the life of the fragrance. It was just staying mostly the same for hours on end. But as it is, it smells damn pleasant. I will just look and search around for something that has the same qualities but maybe a more interesting development. Another one I tried was Isis by The Agonist. While being a gorgeous blend of benzoin, lapthanum and vanilla with added spices and I think a hint of peach that gives it a little bit more sweetness and adds to this resinous um, vanilla-y softness the fragrance has, it has abysmal performance. The projection is mild and barely noticeable. You will get whiffs of it, but as the whole fragrance is just really smooth and soft and um, quite silent in terms of how it smells, you don't have much of a presence. It also doesn't last too long or, well, it, it lasts directly on your skin, but it doesn't project anymore, or not too much. And at the price point that it's at, it's hard to compensate for um, the lack of performance by purposely overspraying, or in this case, purposely adjusting the amount you put in your skin and put, uh, filling it in a travel sprayer to respray it during the day. So that is not an option, and therefore this one didn't make the cut still an incredibly pleasant fragrance and for people that like vanilla like I do and like resinous um, fragrances this one was just from the pure fragrance 
side from the pure sand it evaporated. Great. But as I said, bad performance. You have to decide if it's worth your money in the end, and it wasn't for me, therefore. Another brand I tried fragrances of on my skin was uh, Thamine. And the first one I tried is named Carved Oud. For a person like me that likes Tom Ford's Oud Wood, but finds too little Oud in it, and also likes Tom Ford's Oud Wood Intense, but has that has just too much Oud in it for me, too much skankiness. This one is right in the middle between those two, and therefore to me it was perfect. Had I just had I just liked the general Oud Wood um, scent more. As it is, it is a nice spicy woody oud, although not something that I find to be too attention grabbing or just inter interesting me enough. I just didn't feel this amazement that I need to buy a fragrance nowadays. So while being really good and smelling damn pleasant and being just at that sweet spot between the alternatives I mentioned, it just didn't make the cut as well. And the other one I tried was, I think, Riviere by Tamin, although I might be mistaken, I've, I'm not sure about that name anymore. It was an amber oud and while it also smelled pleasant, it again had the same problem as the two amber oud etc combinations from the fragrance kitchen. It had a sharp stingy note or a chord or ingredient that I just can't stand for a longer period of time. So this one also didn't make the cut unfortunately. So what I think the fragrances by that brand are nice and they have some really nice ones. Uh, yeah, those ones fell short and carved wood needs some further investigation. Maybe I will fall in love with it in the future, but right now it didn't amaze me and didn't um, yeah, grow on me fast enough, so we will see. Another one I tried was Udis Pahan by Dior. I already had heard about that a lot from other reviewers in the Bracom, and I actually quite liked that one. It is a pleasant Oud Rose combination, Nothing stingy or too skanky while still having this um, oud feeling. It has really strong performance. It projects probably even too strongly because um, it, even if I had uh, had wind coming in from the front and I had it on on the inside of my elbow, I could just still smell it. It just defied the laws of physics. It should have been um, pushed away by the wind, but I, it, it just went, went straight to my nose. And yeah, that one is also really pleasant, but nothing that right now I would just pick up. But it was interesting and intriguing enough so that I will probably try it out again and see if I can um, recognize more facets to it. Because I tried so many fragrance smells, so many fragrances that there is a possibility that I um, didn't give some of them enough attention or time and that my nose was already exhausted. So if something really was nice and pleasant, I probably want to revisit it again in the future. And finally, I want to talk about the one that I actually bought. On the first day, I tried it on skin just as it is, and after I um, experienced it for a while, I noticed similarities to other fragrances. The one that I tried was Arabesque by The Merchant of Venice, which is a really nice plum, cinnamon and tobacco fragrance. And the other fragrances that this resembled were on the one side Plum Japonais by Tom Ford with that cinnamon and uh, plum opening. And the other one that this one is close to is Herod by Parfums de Mali, because this one is a cinnamon and tobacco. But the Merchant of Venice one isn't as sweet 
because it lacks the uh, strong honey uh, accord that or honey note that Harrod has. It also doesn't have the same problem that Plum Japonais has because Plum Japonais, the plum um, scent, plum portion of the fragrance falls apart after two hours and develops a quite fizzy and soda-like quality. It somehow reconstitutes itself later and comes back together, but for arabesque, this plum part just stays great and amazing throughout the entire life of the fragrance, which is quite long. And after I tried those three in uh, comparison to make sure that I didn't buy something superfluous as I already own Herod and maybe just missed out on Plum Chabonet, maybe it was better, but in the end I found Arabesque to be the one that I liked more between Plum Japonais and this one obviously and I didn't find it as close to Herod that I would not want Arabesque as well but the dry down is rather similar but as I said not as sweet the performance on Arabesque is amazing it's outstanding for a reason I can only guess about when I put my nose directly Next to my skin, I couldn't smell anything at all. But in up to an arm's length, or of course I cannot put this farther away than half an arm's length, but even at full um, full distance and being dried down and um, f having faded out a lot, this fragrance still projected extremely well. So the f the reason why I I think I couldn't smell it directly on the skin and probably was because it was so strong and overwhelmed my nose and I couldn't smell anything because my nose was just out of order putting it too close to this onslaught of uh, molecules. So that basically was it. I picked up, as I said, the uh, arabesque fragrance by the Merchant of Venice in the end and it comes in a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle made from uh, mouth-blown Moreno glass. It's just, the bottle is maybe even more stunning and gorgeous than the juice inside is. I made a small unboxing video for you so you can see how amazing it looks and I probably will have it uploaded previous or prior to uploading this one. This was my vlog about the experiences I had in the KDW. If you ever come to Berlin, I highly suggest you going there because they also have amazing food, a huge variety of uh, food stuffs. So even if you don't want to buy any clothes or fragrances, just want to sniff around a little bit, you can just uh, go to the uppermost floor and have delicious cakes and desserts or eat whatever your heart desires from oysters to uh, lobster tails but on the other side as with the rest of their um, sortiment they also have inexpensive options like fried chicken or uh, the eponymous Berlin food currywurst or other local foods as well as Italian and Asian stuff or even sushi so they have such a huge variety of dishes you can order it's amazing now I want to ask you what do you think about this format of presenting my experiences have you tried any of those fragrances and what do you think about them I would love if you would comment in the section below like it and if you want to be notified or see future content on your feed think about subscribing to my channel and maybe even hitting the bell to get notified and get a small message whenever I upload a new video which I hope is weekly or with some bonus content in between. Have a nice day, see you around and smell you later. Bye.